Hello Leo! Thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux by Ciro Marchetti. There's a website for Ciro. usgamesinc.com, if that's focusing, you can see that hopefully. Supportive Oracle Cards, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, Oracle Cards by Colette Baron reed there's a website in the back here, uh, or there's a couple of them. Feel free to freeze frame and search them out if you want to. I thought there was one with her full name, but I don't see it. Um, if you search her out, like on Google or Bing, like use the full name of her deck and her name, you should easily find stuff from her. I'm pretty sure she has a bunch of stuff, so. Not completely sure, but I'm pretty sure. Okay, what do we have for Leo? I feel like I'm going to like this. I feel like I'm going to like this. Like, there seems to be something... Alright, this is the six of coins, yeah? Somebody's giving you something. There's a gift. Some type of gift coming your way. Um, somebody really likes you a lot. Like the lover's card, it doesn't have to be romantic, but somebody thinks the world of you and somebody's giving you a gift. Hold on. <laughs> um, I saw this out of the corner of my eye because I'm like, I was a little uncomfortable with it. The horse king is like, talks about somebody controlling another. Um, that's how I view it. And then the high lady of love and compassion. See, somebody feels like they know better than you do for your own life. They're giving you a gift, but they're trying to keep you closer. They do like you, but they have a bunch of ideas about what they want and where they want things to go with you. Um, that lover's card. I'm just like, be careful of these gifts. Um, be careful of the gift. The, the gift has some type of string. There's strings with this gift. There's definitely strings with this gift. The Seven of Cups is like, I don't think this person knows what they want. I don't think they know exactly what they want from you, but they do like you a lot. And they want to keep you close. They want to control the situation. They do care about you, but there's some control issues here. Um, see, you once you figure it out, though, I don't see you tolerating it. But the thing is, when they give you a gift, you seem to like it. You're not realizing there's strings attached, or at least you're not realizing how their mind is working. Because um, I see you liking it when they do give you the gift with the Nine of Cups. Cups, yeah. I feel like I feel appreciated. I'm I'm very thankful. It's it's not like it's not like you don't deserve the gift, whatever it is. It's not like that. But there's strings. I feel like there's like it's like fishing line. Like, you can't see these strings, but they're there. Um, like, fishing line, you know what I mean? When there's fishing line, somebody's tied some fishing line across the, a spot, and then all of a sudden you walk into it, and you're like, oh, geez. Uh, you know what I mean? It's, or, like, they do that gag where they put the cellophane uh, at, you know, at, like, face level, and you walk into a room, and you're like, poof. You know what I mean? That type of thing. Um... Something's up. What is else is going on here? The thing is, this person... <laughs> you're going to get what you want. You're in control here. They don't understand that. Okay. You'll gladly accept that gift. It's not like you don't deserve it, for whatever that means. Like, you know. But you're the one who's truly in control. They don't understand that. They think they're controlling you with this gift, kind of like, well, as long as they keep giving the Leo gifts, I can keep them where they want them because they're going to keep wanting this gift. So they'll do what I want. Whatever that gift might mean to you. That's not true. 
I got two face down cards. Um, this ooh, this card. That's the grizzliest devil card. I tell you, I, I that in all the decks I have, that's the most disturbing one I can think of. Um, when you want what you want, you're gonna get what you want. They're not gonna have control of you. If you figure out that they're playing games with you, that could actually sp stir up some emotions in you, and you would not have it. Um, I'm getting like this is like hidden. They're they're messing with the wrong person here. Um, they do not understand what you're about to do. I think you're going to leave this situation. There's a weird energy here where they keep giving you this gift because I give it to you with the Six of Pentacles. I see it coming forward again with the Seven of Pentacles. Like they keep giving you gifts. Whatever this is, they keep giving you, they keep giving, they keep giving, they keep giving. They think they have you where they want you. They think they have control of you. But when push comes to shove, you're going to look at what you've been getting from the situation. And if you decide, hey, you know, this has been nice for as long as it lasted. But, you know, I think I'm okay with what I have. I don't think I need these gifts anymore. I think I'm going to go do something else. You're going to go, if you decide that you're done, you're going to walk away. Um, you're also not going to be very um, graceful if they try to insist that you can't go. That's not going to, because when you go, you're going to go. That's it. Um, that devil card, like, they might see a side of you, like, I, no, that, I, I wasn't accepting that like a bribe. I wasn't sec accepting that gift, like, conditions that I had to stay here and do this. It was good while it lasted, but now it's over and I have other things I want to go to. Um, you're not going to tolerate that. You don't work by those same rules. Be careful of this energy a little bit. Um... If you can, just walk away from it when you're ready. I don't think you even have to explain it because I'm getting like the Queen of Swords with the Five of Wands. There could be a big argument here that could have long-term fallout that you may not want. Um, what is this? When you, Because you're going to see that you've been manipulated. You're not going to like it. Um, you're going to notice, you're going to see it. You're going to see it for what it is at the right time. The sooner you see it, the, the sooner you're going to walk away, too. I don't see you putting up with it. Um, they don't like it when you walk away, but they're not going to do anything. They may have, like, little comments to other people about you walking away. They may be disgusted with you. Well, then they're disgusted, so what? Don't, I, I don't, I don't feel like we need, don't acknowledge this. It's it's going to cause some type of reper repercussions that you don't want. Especially if this is a business thing. Especially if it's a business thing. Um, don't comment. Just walk away. Like, literally, don't, like, you know when sometimes the reporter says says to, like, somebody, like a politician especially, what do you think about this, 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 and that? And they're like, no comment. Uh, no comment, thank you. Whatever. Don't, not even that. You don't, like, if somebody asks you something or this person confronts you, like, you think you can go? You can't go. No, just walk away. Just don't even, don't even say no comment. Just turn around and go. Just go. Because you're going to have fallout and it's going to be a problem for a long time. They're giving the advice of the resting tree and the, is that the six of cups? Just walk away. Realize they're upset. They thought something that's not ha happening here. Just walk away. Don't, like, literally, like, don't say no comment. Just don't, literally, don't comment at all. Don't even say that much and just, just go. Um, do what you want. It's better to get into something you want versus just wasting your time. There's nothing to explain here. Like, you know what I mean? There's nothing to explain. You weren't going to tolerate that anyway. You didn't see it that way. You didn't see this conditional gift-giving thing as a thing. They're going to learn their lesson the way they need to learn their lesson. Because um, I feel like they were expecting a lot, and it just was never going to happen. Be careful. Don't Be careful what you say. I feel like it's just going to turn out to be this situation where you have to constantly deal with it, or there's some type of fallout. Especially if it's business, there's long-term fallout that you don't want. 
you're not going to be a fan of it. Like down the road, you're going to be like, oh, we're still dealing with that. Like still with that. Yeah, still with that. Um, that's the best advice I can give you from what I'm getting. Is there anything else? I think that's it. All right. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email. Jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's James the number four. Astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below with the same email. Thank you for watching and have a great day.